you may have noticed that scientists determine the age of meteorites as billions of years. The process which helps to ascertain the age of such objects is called radioactive dating. Radioactive dating, also known as radiometric dating, is a method used by scientists to determine the age of rocks, fossils, and other geological materials. It relies on the natural process of radioactive decay, which is the spontaneous breakdown of certain unstable atomic nuclei. Atoms are made up of a nucleus at the center, which contains protons and neutrons, surrounded by electrons. Some atoms have unstable nuclei, meaning they have an imbalance of protons and neutrons. This instability causes them to undergo radioactive decay, transforming into more stable atoms over time. During radioactive decay, an unstable atom releases particles and energy. The released particles can be alpha particles, beta particles, or gamma rays. The rate at which radioactive decay occurs is measured by a quantity called the half-life, which is the time it takes for half of the unstable atoms in a sample to decay. Scientists use different radioactive isotopes for dating purposes, depending on the age range they want to measure. Isotopes are versions of an element with the same number of protons, but a different number of neutrons. Some isotopes are stable, while others are radioactive. By measuring the ratio of radioactive isotopes to stable isotopes in a sample, scientists can estimate the age of the material. They do this by comparing the amount of parent isotope or the radioactive isotope to the amount of daughter isotope or the stable isotope resulting from decay in the sample. As time passes, the parent isotope decreases, while the daughter isotope increases. The key to accurate dating is knowing the half-life of the radioactive isotope being used. Scientists determine the half-life through careful experimentation and observation. Each radioactive isotope has a unique half-life, ranging from fractions of a second to billions of years. Carbon dating is a method used to determine the age of ancient objects by analyzing the amount of carbon-14 called C14 remaining in them. Carbon-14 is a type of carbon that is naturally present in the atmosphere. Plants absorb carbon dioxide from the air, and animals acquire carbon-14 by consuming plants or other animals. While an organism is alive, the amount of carbon-14 in its body remains constant. However, when an organism dies, it no longer takes in carbon-14, and the existing carbon-14 begins to decay at a predictable rate. By measuring the remaining amount of carbon-14 in a sample, scientists can estimate the time since the organism died. Carbon dating has some limitations. Firstly, it is only effective for objects up to around 50,000 years old. Beyond that point, the amount of carbon-14 left in the sample becomes too small to provide accurate measurements. Radioactive dating has been instrumental in determining the ages of rocks, fossils, and archaeological artifacts. It has provided insights into Earth's history, the evolution of life on our planet, and the timing of major geological events. However, it's important to note that radioactive dating is most reliable for materials that are millions of years old or younger, as older samples may have experienced additional factors that could affect the accuracy of the dating process.